Uh, go up to, to verse number 6 in, in Proverbs 22. The Bible says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I'll tell you this, parents, tell, teach your kids about money. Teach your kids how to manage them. Teach them how to live within their means. Teach them how to do and be responsible with their money. A lot of people never had parents that taught them how to be responsible with their money. This happens all the time. I've heard it from plenty of people. Yeah, my parents never taught me anything. Thank God, I'm, I thank God my parents did teach me a lot of stuff. So I never really got into some serious financial problems in my life because they taught me how to deal with things and not to get in the credit card debt and, you know, held my hand and helped me open up a bank account and taught me how to do all these things. You might not have had that opportunity, but teach your kids how to be responsible with it so that you could give them the best foot forward and teach them how these things work. Train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Verse 7, the rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. You become the servant. You want to borrow, you want to borrow money? Well, now, I mean, when it's time to pay up, you got to pay up. And if you don't, it's going to cause you even more problems. Oh, you wanted to have that fancy whatever? Yeah, you got it. It's great when you first get it. It's not so great three years later and you're still paying hundreds of dollars a month. I have heard people, you know, like, I, I know plenty of people who bought vehicles. Something happened to the vehicle. It's destroyed, stolen, whatever. And they're going like, I'm still paying for this. And we don't even have it anymore. Because you had this debt, you had this obligation. These things happen. I mean, I'm still paying for my wife's college. Talk about a bad debt. <laughs> Seriously, you get no value out of that at all. That was my choice, so I chose the marrier, so I got to take on the debt with the, with the marriage. But you know what? For me, that's a good investment. I'm happy for that. I'll pay off that debt. It's like, it's like working for, uh, for Rachel those seven years, you know, although the seven years turned into 14 years. <laughs> but I still only have one wife. <laughs> yeah, that college debt's taken a long time to get paid off, but it's almost done. Almost there. Don't get yourself into debt. It's going to cause more heartache. It's going to cause more headache. It's going to cause you to be in a situation you don't, you don't want to be in, and it's, going to, it's just going to cause more problems. Uh, almost the last point, I'm going to turn, to turn to Malachi chapter 3. It's the last book of the Old Testament, Malachi chapter number 3, because I do always like stating this, because it's biblical, and it goes with getting your heart right, and when you're content, and following the commands of God, no matter what situation you're in, you know, or how much money you owe to anybody else. If you want to have financial peace, make sure you're putting God first and you're giving him the first fruits and you're giving him the respect that's due in what you owe him in your tithe. The first tenth of what you make belongs to God. Okay, and, and, and look, I'll testify, I have followed this for I don't know how many years. It's ever since I actually got in church. Because obviously when I was out of church, I wasn't doing anything, but... And God will always provide a way. And I'll tell you this much, when you don't, when you don't pay God what's due to him and what's owed to him, because he's blessed you, he'll make sure it comes out one way or another. But the way that that comes out is not going to be as pleasant as you just being able to be, to, to know you're doing right and saying, you're God. Thank you, God. And you know, a, a tithe, don't let that become a drudgery and, oh man, I have to pay that. Look, get your heart right. When you pay your tithe, don't be like, oh, I wish I didn't have to pay this money to God. You know, why don't you think that holy God, the, the giver of gifts, the father of lights, that, that gives your, you know, the, the gifts to you and gives you 
Uh, every good gift and every perfect gift cometh from above, from the Father of lights, is what the Bible says. And you thank him for what you have and thank, you, thank him for that job that you have and thank him for the skills that he's blessed you with that you're able to perform the job that you're able to do and for your health and thank him for that and say, God, thank you. This belongs to you, not me. 